as you probably realise, we're doing a bit of a sound fest tonight. So we're going to throw you a challenge. We're going to play the sounds of something and we want you to give it a go. See if you can guess what it is. Have a listen. It's weird. It's wonderful. And it's going to be very difficult to get it right. But go on, give it a go. Be imaginative. Come up with some crazy ideas and send them in via the usual social media platforms, Instagram and Facebook at BBC Spring Watch and Twitter using the hashtag Autumn Watch. But just do bear in mind that if they're completely absurd, we're very likely to read them out at the end of the programme. Just keep them clean, OK? <laughs> yeah. Keep them clean if you want to hear them on air. The crunch of leaf litter underfoot. But for Michael Prime, there are more other worldly sounds to be found. Although the source is tantalisingly terrestrial. What we've got here is capable of amplifying the electrical field of any living organism, whether that's a fungus or a plant. I've always been fascinated by plants, by biology, and uh, also by music and sound. And over the years, the two things have gradually uh, come together. He uses specialised equipment that translates bioelectrical fields into sound which he uses in musical compositions and art installations. Michael has come to the National Trust's Murloc Nature Reserve in Northern Ireland to attempt to record a fungus he finds fascinating. I'm very, very keen to record Clathris archeri. It's, it's a fungus that I've only ever found once before, which was years ago in Sussex. And I didn't have my recording equipment with me at the time. So hearing that it was actually fruiting, right now, here in Murloc, I thought I've got to get up there and do it. Clatheris archery forms an egg-like structure and in the autumn it explodes with these tendril formations which have led to it more commonly being referred to as devil fingers or octopus stinkhorn which is a clue to another of its characteristics. If we have a smell, oh, absolutely the smell of rotting meat there. Oh. I love that kind of alien appearance of it. It's particularly interesting for the strategy it uses to disperse its spores. It attempts to attract flies um, to carry the spores and it produces um, the smell of rotting meat. It has these little blobs of jelly containing the spores which the flies feed on and they then carry them away. And there they are actually carrying out some spore dispersal. They might smell rather hellish, but for Michael, do their bioelectrical signals sound more heavenly? The fluctuations in the sound that you hear are a direct mapping of those fluctuations in the bioelectrical field of the organism. The electrical field of, of the fungus is constantly changing in response to its environment. So there tends to be a kind of regular pulse, almost like a heartbeat. Um, which varies uh, according to whether it's excited or not, if you like. And it might be excited if it encounters nutrients, if it encounters water. Michael has managed to record the sound of this stinkhorn to add to his fungal symphony. 
I like to think of what I do as being a collaboration with the organisms that I work with. Well, in the end, hopefully, it's a piece of music or a piece of art, but hopefully also it's music or art with a purpose, because plants and fungi, they, they don't interact with us in obvious ways like animals do, so it's easy to think of them as being inanimate which of course is completely wrong. And so I hope that by making those life processes audible that people can start to appreciate uh, plants and fungi for what they are, complex living organisms. I love that, I absolutely love that. Firstly, I love, you know, the octopus stinkhorn. I'd love to see one, I've never seen one. But then I also like the genre crossing thing that Michael's doing you know he's transforming those bioelectrical sounds into essentially art which is fantastic those little fluctuations and what he's done is he's taken the recordings he got from those octopus stinkhorn and then he's transformed them into different voices so it's the same species but it produces different sorts of sounds and then he's layered them together to produce a little composition made by the sounds of this fungus have a listen Don't do your dad dancing, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> At least I've got a good groove going. <laughs> Come on then, what do people think it might be? I know, that was a hard quiz, because that was the sound of the quiz, so that's the answer. We had Dave on Twitter, is it an otter playing swing ball? I like that. Claire on Twitter, son Joseph, is it a cormorant with a sore throat? <laughs> Jeff on Facebook, the sound of a frog bouncing on a drum. But unbelievably, no. somebody got it right. No. Dave on Twitter, my wife says the noise of a spider, but my son says a mushroom. Come Do you think that was on. just a lucky guess? Well, it must have been, must not it? Other than that, <laughs> he's been probing deep into the bioelectrical fields of the mycelial group. Honestly, well fantastic. Done, well, top work. Really, Absolutely top really work. Good. Even if it was a guess, it's still brilliant. 